2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the Corn Ferry Tour season opener is about to begin. Luke Elby here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this is an exciting day for this player. They're taking part in their very first Corn Ferry Tour event. I'm sure you've got memories of that moment and what it felt like. What type of goals are they setting for themselves and what are their expectations of the season ahead? Well, look, I think that every player out here, their only goal is to secure their PGA Tour card. And to do that, there's three ways. You can either win three times on the Corn Ferry Tour. That'll automatically get you a battlefield promotion to the PGA Tour. You can finish top 25 at the points list at the end of the season. Or for everyone else, the top 75 will go on to the Tour Championship. And from there, the top 50 will regain or earn PGA Tour status. Oh, I'm fired up too, Rich. Let's see how this one plays out. <laughs> Lovely effort, that. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? This is looking around 115 yards out. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Oh, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. Oh, stop it. What a shot. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Putting for birdie. Well, Rich, that's ideal. A birdie to start the day. I've never been disappointed by starting off my round with a birdie, Luke, I can tell you that. He's currently tied for second. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Yeah, that one will play. Second shot on the second. Opting for the hybrid, I think. This one needs to kick left. Yeah, a quality shot from him. He'll be pleased. Oh, 13 footer coming up here. Putting for eagle. That always sounds good. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Some momentum being built now. That's back to back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. And now stepping onto this par three hole. Looks to be going with the five iron. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Firm back up the hill. This will be a good one. Yeah, that's lovely weight. Getting it right up by the hole. Excellent job. Currently a couple under for the round. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Mm. 
Nothing as beautiful as a tiny fade. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Playing this one about 130 yards out. Currently tied for the lead. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Bit too much club there, wasn't it? This putt for par here. This really looks good. Oh, that's frustrating. And this one will be for bogey. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. And after a bogey at the last, they're looking for a big drive on this hole. <laughs> That's not what he had hoped for, I'm pretty sure of that. Henny, what does that lie look like? Oh, they got so unlucky here, just off the fairway, but not sitting nicely. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Unable to find the green on this one. Now from that lie, missing the green was always an option. There's 17 feet remaining to the hole. Oh, so close. Putting for a bogey. And that's a couple of bogeys on the bounce, I'm afraid. Yeah, making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. And now on the tee, coming off a bogey. Trying to reclaim some momentum. Oh, well played. Even for the day, in a share of seventh. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. It was on a good line. Putting for a par now. Job done. Let's head to the next. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. Teeing off here at the seventh. Going with the hybrid. See if he can get that one to come back to the left a little. That's inside the house of opportunity. A chance to move into the top five on the leaderboard. A good putt to make.
Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Three feet to go here to the hole. This is important. Big par putt here. And that par ensures he'll stay right there at even par. We've arrived at a par four. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? A little bit of breeze ruffling the old hair, and it's coming straight on. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Always frustrated by missing a green. Got to believe the wind affected the golf ball there. And here we are with the third shot. Three behind our leader. Didn't that look good for a long time? Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Such soft hands. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. This hole is a long par four. Even for the day. Currently tied for seventh position. Opting for the five iron. Ah, great shot. Come on, let's make this putt. It's for a share of fourth on the leaderboard. Just didn't drop. That's disappointing. It's just about three feet away. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. We've reached the beginning of the back nine, the tenth. Couple of birdies and a couple of bogeys. Needs to get something going here today. Not really what they were hoping for there. Henny, do you have a better look at this lie? No, oh, this is just unfortunate. So close to the fairway, but sitting really down. Well struck. Getting ready to play their third. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. <laughs> Setting up miles from the hole.
Parpat coming up here. That was a gallant attempt. And that puddle drop. Well done. Now three strokes back after that hole. Time to face a par four. What are we looking at here, Henny? Setting up here from about 145 yards. Any bounce to the left here would be helpful. And he's hit that inside the range. This putt is for a spot inside the top 10. Ouch, that hurts. A par putt on the table. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Let's head to the 12th hole. Nicely done. Trying to get to even par with this putt. That'll sting a bit. Well, I think they fell in love with the line, forgot about the pace. That's a good putt for par, you'll take it. He's currently tied for 11th. Time to face a par four now. <laughs> Second shot here on the thirteenth hole. Magical shot. Yes, got to think that's a certain birdie from there. Good opportunity coming up to move into the top 10 on the leaderboard. And that'll move into even power for the tournament. I'll tell you what, inching closer to that top spot on the leaderboard, things are definitely heating up. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a power four. I just love the aggressive play there, Rich. Oh, how about that shot? Taking out the big stick and going ahead and knocking her on. Love it. And this putt to move into the top five.
Well, Rich, from where I'm sitting, this looks makeable. Do you agree? Look, I, I just don't see this happening. I tell you, I'd love to see this player prove me wrong, though. That putt went a bit long there. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Now, current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. We have a par four on this one. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Oh, look at that. You don't want that ball back. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. And choosing the eight iron here. <laughs> Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Can't be too aggressive here. Take your medicine and move on. This is down the hill. Just three feet to the cup. This is what they have left for par. And the putt drops. Now even par heading down the stretch. They're going to have to dig deep to pull this one out. Let's see what they got. He's in a share of ninth place. And we've arrived at a par three. Going with the pitching wedge here. You're going to put your foot down. This is as good a time as any. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Ooh. And that should secure the par on this one. Now fall back after that hole. Well, here we go, Rich. We're at the penultimate hole, the 17th. You like that, didn't you? Even for the day, currently tied for ninth. Choosing the nine iron here. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. And coming up well short. Here's a chance to get up and down from the greenside bunker. <laughs> Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Setting up this putt 15 feet from the cup. Hey, nice looking line. Yeah, we'll take that.
So no movement there. He stays at even with the card. And now striding to the final tee of this round. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Four shots behind our leader. Opting for the 9-iron. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. OK, that'll work. And this putt is for a final score of 70. You know you want to. And that'll wrap things up for him here at this tournament. And for a first appearance, Rich, on the Corn Ferry Tour, not a bad result. Impressive top 10 finish in your first start. Gotta like that. On behalf of Rich Beam, Henny Koyak, John McCarthy, I'm Luke Elvey saying so long from 2K Sports.